Hey everybody. What's up? Here with some sack boy. Big sack adventure. Yeah. Um, unfortunately we can't do co-op because, you know, we're uh not in the same place. Is it local co-op only? Um, no, it has online multiplayer, but well it doesn't yet. It will in a And also um, I don't have a PS5. That too. <laughs> It'll have online multiplayer later. We can mm -hmm. pl you can play it um two player via share play, but you both mm -hmm. have to have copies of the game. Which seems to me like it kinda defeats the purpose of share play. Yeah. Cause like if why would you do that when you could just play online multiplayer? Yeah. Like you can do share play, which is like streaming it, and then do like local yeah. co op, but like you know, why bother? Yeah. I feel so, like I feel like games have a long way to go for like streaming to friends to play together. Yeah. But we are like it it, it is moving in like a very good direction. Mm hmm Cause like what is it, uh Parsec? Why Parsec, yeah. Like I don't know why like I couldn't think of it. But like with Parsec Par Parsec is great. Um, actually, like, yeah, I just read I, a tip. Um, where is it? For the roll here, you can set it so that um, you just hold the button down, and it keeps rolling. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be an accessibility. There we go. Game assist, maybe. Roll right there. This is the first one. Oh. <laughs> um, that's probably a good one too, actually. I really like the music in this game. Um, so I've already played like the first three levels. So we're just like replaying them. Yeah. Um, so the only thing we're missing here is the opening cutscene, which actually is pretty cool. Um, the like the graphics in the cutscene are like pretty cool. Like when you get really close to Sackboy, and you see like all the little details on him. Yeah, I think. I think, like the little big planet games never been like super good looking games but they've always had the charm yeah i've never really played any of them um i was never really interested in like the making levels aspect of it so i just kind yeah. of like avoided them so when yeah. i saw that this was like just a straight up 3d platformer i was a lot more interested and this is available on um PS4 also. Oh, is it on PS4 too? Yeah. That's cool. The only uh, true exclusive right now is Demon Souls. Gotta love it. Yep. Like I said, that's the console seller. It is. So I think I already got everything in this level, so all I get like now are like more orbs which you can use to like buy costumes and stuff. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with live it, living it up. Yeah, getting looking lively. Um, in the co-op, it does like how uh, Super Mario 3D World does, where it like gives the trophy to whoever gets the most points. Ah, so you get? Is it like an actual trophy or like a crown? It's a trophy. In 3D World, it's a crown. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever got this. I don't know what it was. Oh yeah, I don't know what that was. That I'm not gonna lie, that thing makes me uncomfortable. It reminds me of Bug Snacks, which I haven't played yet, but maybe just, we uh, will. Have seen. Yeah, it's free. If you got a PS5, uh, make sure you go claim your free Bug Snacks. If you have PS and Plus, if you don't... also. If, if you don't, just use the app. That's yeah. what I did. Just to make sure I got it. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, if you uh, use a friend's console um, and sign into your account on their PS5, they can you can add all the PS Plus collection games to your library and play them on your PS4. Ooh. 
Granted, you probably have most of them already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's probably a fair assumption. I had most of them. Um, and the ones I didn't have, I'm probably not going to play ever, but I claimed them anyway. Yeah. Monster Hunter World is a, a little bit interesting. Yeah, like I, I, maybe play I, that. I, I like the thought of Monster Hunter World, but it just seems like it'd be more fun if you had, like, a, like a solid group. Yeah. Um, I, I, I feel like I was pretty interested kind of in Iceborne. Yeah. The I'm setting of Iceborne as, intrigued me. I want to play as Geralt. Is that in there? I do believe Geralt is in Iceborne. I didn't know that. Yeah, like they had a like the, they had a thing, like a trailer or something, where they were like, you can play as Geralt, like that, or it's like Geralt armor. Ah. But I believe it's actually Geralt. Gotcha. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's Geralt of Rivia, the Witcher. From Soul Calibur 6. Yeah, from from Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this mechanic's pretty cool. Like I some of these first levels I think are like they're pretty basic, like there's not a lot going on, but I can definitely yeah, I like mean, see the potential. So I'm excited to get to the Yeah, I'm excited to get to the later levels cuz I can see like um that it could like really ramp up and be pretty fun. I'm planning to beat the whole thing. Get the old platinum. Probably. Let's stop games not having platinums. I, I don't know if that's still a thing, but... It's really... It might be, like... It might be, but I think it's pretty rare now. Yeah. Because Sony used to be a little strict about who got a platinum, but now they let pretty much anybody have it. Yeah. It's if you want it. Which, like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> pure creative energy straight from the Imagosphere. But you'll need more of them if you're going to make it up there. You are here to stop Vex, aren't you? Even uh, downgraded, yes, these graphics yes, yes. look pretty but good. First, you need to know yeah. about the dark, foul energy of nightmares we call the uproar. Vex I think it's just interesting to, to see with it. a little now, big planet in a different light. The way to the top yeah, of the for mountain, sure. So no one can interrupt him. Because like I'm always like a little big planet is one of those games like I'm always interested in, and then like once I play it for like so long, like five ten hours, I lose pretty much like all my interest in it. Yeah, I downloaded Little Big Planet three to try it out. Like, yeah. probably like a year ago, and yeah, it was. It lost my interest pretty quick. Next time we meet, I'll reveal great. I was a little more interested in this because it was a 3D platformer rather than a 2D platformer. Yeah, I think it's just nice that it, like, it just has like a, a story. Yeah. Did it. Complete, baby. This was, I think, it. the only game I have that you haven't seen at all, right? Yeah, I mean, like, besides, like, the trailer that got showed off. Right. But is it the only one that, that I have that you haven't played at all? I haven't played uh, Miles Morales. I've only seen, like, oh, yeah. a little bit of gameplay from Miles Morales, though. Gotcha. Um... I'm wondering what that spade is. A spade? Um, know. is that? Yeah, in the level goals, because I just got it, and I don't know why, because it's the first time I've gotten one. Hmm. Maybe it's I like was... getting all all secrets and stuff. All the level goals. <laughs> there you go. Or maybe there's like. Maybe there's something in it. Try this one out. Um, that you have to like get. 
Yeah, it might be that thing that I said, like, oh, I don't know if I've gotten this before. Yeah, so maybe it's just, like, the secret. Like, get all get all the collectibles. Yeah. <laughs> Knew that secret already. <laughs> the old... Going, going back from where you started, secret. Yep. Ooh, physics. You gotta like it. Have you played Bug Snacks? Uh, I didn't play it, but I saw like 10 minutes of gameplay gotcha. before we before we switched to something else. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't really even seen anything of it yet. Yeah, basically, like basically, I I know that the game is not at all what was marketed. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the the most I know. Yeah. But but to be like fair, they didn't really market it as much of yeah. anything. That's true. I figured it would just be like a weird game because it's from the same people as Octodad. Yeah. And and to be fair, it is. <laughs> like just you know, from the trailers. It's like eat a bug snacks. <laughs> have that have that bug's uh, appearance put onto your body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. So I think every time I get a golden one, those are ones I haven't gotten before. Gotcha. Or they're just worth more of something. Maybe. But it could also be something you haven't gotten before. Yeah, I'm not sure. You gotta basically just beat like every single person and get every orb. Pretty much. To that, that's very much like a little big planet. Yeah. I do like the music. It's very chill. Yeah. This level in particular, I like it a lot. Got two times the orbs. Ooh. No, orb. Oops. Oh no! On it, we're out. No. That would have been some big money orbage right there. You really would have. No, orbs. <laughs> I think those are the costume pieces, yeah. But I already got them. Gotcha. It was it a? Uh, I played Tetris Effect for the first time ever. Yeah. Like, like a couple days ago. And man, like, for as stressful as a game as Tetris can be, like, some of the music in that game just made it real chill. Mm. I gotta uh, play it in VR. I know. I probably have to now. I never played it. What? Like a bonus level. Looks like it. Just like a real weird whack a mole. Yep. I wonder. Oh, okay, so you said to hit all of them. Yeah. Let me get a costume piece. I like that you can just roll over the uh, ropes. Yeah. That's the fastest way to move. Dang it. Uh-oh. Ah. Is the number four in the corner, is that how many hits you have? I think it's my lives. Did it go oh, down? How many lives do you have total? No. Yeah, I think it only goes down if you actually lose a life. I gotcha. think that you just 
I, I couldn't really figure it out, but it seemed like maybe you could just take two hits in general before you die. But I'm not sure if that's accurate. Possible. I couldn't really find anything that was like a life bar. I don't know. It's, it's probably the closest thing. You're missing the one that was right on top, bud. Where? Ah. Ah, no. Oh, man. Now you got to do the corkscrew thing. <laughs> Yeah, this just seems like a, a little neat, like, platforming game. Yeah, it was a lot of fun in co-op. I wish there was a way for us to do co-op. Um, maybe, like, eventually we can. Yeah. When you get a PS5 and they add in multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I think it supports up to four players. So maybe we can even I get Camden it... in there. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> He's on the hunt for a PS5. I don't think he's on the hunt for this game, though. Probably not. You know all he wants to play is Call of Duty and some Demon Souls. Yeah. Miles Morales. You really like Spider-Man. Maybe Miles Morales. <laughs> um, I actually, uh, I was playing Call of Duty with him the other day. I ended oh, up getting play, it. Uh, played Warzone? No, Cold War. Oh, okay. I was like, you know, I got this PC now. I should I should try out one of these. Did it make you feel sick? No, not at all. Oh, and it, it was pretty fun. Like playing with mouse and keyboard over a controller. Yeah. I just know first person games get you motion sick pretty good. Yeah, they do a lot. Um, actually, when Camden first started playing Cold War, he said it made him really sick, and he had to like adjust the settings. And then he like told me the settings before I started, <laughs> so it was fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Like the big thing is turn off motion blur. Yeah, and increase the FOV. Yeah. Yeah, I got that spade thing. I think, oh, you know what? It might just be getting to the, uh, yeah, I think it's just getting to the top level of all of the, uh, goals at the end of the level. Ah. So, like, just having enough yeah, of the, like, the money. Mm -hmm. Come, look at the so this is where you buy stuff. Look at buy that! The Mountaineer, Punk Rocker. Stylish. Festival Demon. You can buy the individual pieces and some more. I saw, I saw a Yeti thing. Where's the Yeti thing? Um, because it says you unlock the Yeti thing. Oh yeah. Um, well, it's gonna be in my wardrobe. Oh, like it, you don't have to buy it; you just unlock it. Um, I think. Oh, I'm not there yet. I don't know how to get there. <laughs> It says I have two out of six. Oh, so it means you need more pieces. Yeah, I'm not sure where to get them. Was that second one a pinata? Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, this you cute. change your skin color. This is a cute game. Yeah. I got this. Um, this, these last three were like free costumes that I just claimed. There might even be more, but I haven't looked at all of them. They just like keep popping up when I like hover over the game, like a new one will be there that's like free. <laughs> yeah, I know, I think it was like when Little Big Planet 2 came out, there was just like constant like costumes getting released as DLC. Mm-hmm. And, like, half of them would be free, and then the other half you have to pay for. Yeah. So I think it was, like, free It was like free to get, like, one or so costumes out of it. Mm -hmm. And then... 
Like, if you wanted all the costumes, you had to pay. Gotcha. So I wanna I wanna test on this level for that spade thing. Um, I wanna see if I like don't get everything if I still get it. I just gonna speed run it. Yeah. Not necessarily speed run it, but just not like go out of my way to get everything. Yeah. So you can try to nail down what the criteria is exactly. These things are cool over here. Oops. <laughs> Got a little rocket. Costume piece. Yeah, I already got all of them in this level. Yeah, if I had to take a guess, I would say that uh, your best bet is that getting so much of this stuff is what got you the uh, the spade. Yeah, medallion Again, or whatever. Most of the orbs. Yeah, because I don't think it matters, like, how many you have, or, like, how many you get. It's just you have to get to a certain amount. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably. One thing I, uh, learned is that if you don't have the mic on mute on your controller because there's a mic on your mm -hmm. controller yeah if you don't put it on mute before you start then you get weaker haptics really because i guess it interferes with it and even if hmm. you mute it like once you're in the game it's still weaker you have to like completely leave the game and then come back with it muted for the interesting haptics to be strong interesting yeah, I've had it muted the whole time though, so like, it's like every game I've played, so I don't really uh, know what the difference is, but it's not muted yeah. by default. So, Ooh. whoops, something to keep in mind. Yep, that number up in the top right is definitely your lives. Yeah. It looks like you, you I, I think, <laughs> I think maybe you get four lives per level, not necessarily. Yeah. Like. Like it just resets every level. Ah, jeez. What? I, uh... I thought... I, I pressed the jump, like, thinking I was still in the air, but I had already grabbed it. There we go. Yeah, the levels are short when you don't get everything. Yeah. Aww. Alright, there you yep, go, no spade. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that is Sackboy. So like I said, maybe maybe someday when, uh, whoops, drop the controller. Maybe someday when uh, Rob has a PS5, <laughs> we could yeah. uh, try out the multiplayer. And when this game gets multiplayer. That too. <laughs> whatever, whatever happens first. <laughs> yeah. So until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.